Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how to use this COLB logical controller so that you can use the PC software to monitor the sensor state because the COLB have 16 channel digital input and a 16 channel analog input and a 5 channel DSA pin B20 temperature sensor so this all can monitor by the PC software and in this video I will show you how to monitor this sensor state on PC software and how to use multi controller and use one window software to monitor all sensor states ok let's look at the web page you can see this is a serial B and you can see uh, this is digital input and analog input and the temperature sensor and now we will download this PC software you can download this service and the software document and you can see here that is multi-board country for Windows because this software can use for multi-board so that you can use many uh, serial B logic controller or use 32 channel relay controller so by the Win software so this software you can running on the Windows PC or Windows tablet so that you can see just as this photo uh, this is running on the computer and this is running on the tablet so just the Windows tablet you can use it and now you can download from this software and I have already downloaded uh, just this software let's look at how to use the first one you can connect with the network cable and uh, this is the power supply, uh, DC 12 volt. So you can connect it. Uh, then the red LED up again. Oh. And I have connected one sensor is for testing. So this can connect with the five temperature sensor, the max support. So let's look at the software, how to use. Click this scan device tool because we need to know this IP address uh, to login for setting so this is my computer IP and the click start scan so we can click this scan and you will find this is IP address of this serial LB because later I will show you how to add the second or the third or the fourth or the fifth serial LB in Win software so you can use this IP address to login we can use this IP address and enter so you can see this is login by the default username and the password click login so you can see this is the firmware version and if you want to use the PC software so you can enable uh, this TCB server if you have used home assistant uh, on Raspberry Pi you can enable this MQTT and if you want to use this remote country and the remote monitor by the internet by mobile phone so you can enable this to ya the to ya need uh, buy the lessons from the King Kony so that you can remote control this uh, box uh, later I will show you how to do with it and the first uh, we just enable this TCB server and click save and this will be reboot and now we can open this PC software and uh, this exe file and you can see here and click add the device and this type we can choose a CLB and this we can rename uh, for board 1 because we later we will add board 2 and the IP address uh, just you can see this is IP address so we just fill and the port uh, you can see also you can see the the part we set on the web page uh, this is the part this is part 4196 so we can set to the 4196 just this part is this part so click add board and you can see this item have create so you can click and you will see this window and this window that have analog and the temperature sensor and the digital input uh, you can connect click this one connect okay you can see this temperature sensor have lead uh, 
because this I have not connected with the temperature sensor. I can only have connected to this one. So you can see if I hold on uh, this sensor, you can see the date it become large. So this is for temperature sensor, and this is analog input, and this is digital input. So if you have connect any dry contact sensor, such as a PIR sensor, motion sensor, or smoke sensor, you can see uh, this is digital input one. So because I can shut for this two point, like this, I shut for these two points, and you will see uh, this is turning green. The color is changed. Remove this cable, and you can see uh, the color is recovered. So you can see, I can shut for this channel 16, shut for this, and you can see uh, this is turn green. So I remove this cable that will recover. So if this is test for the dry contact sensor. You can connect with your smoking sensor or any door sensor, just con try contact sensor is OK. So you can see this is analog sensor, this is analog sensor. We have input the range 0 to 5 watts. And here that is connect with the sensor. So we can connect the 3 volt just for test, 3 volt. And I connect with the input. And you can see that have 50, that have 65 percent. You can see that means the 3.3 volt. volt. So I remove this cable. You can see uh, uh, this analog sensor value is become zero. So this is how to use the input state and the analog input state and digital input state and the temperature sensor. And this you can change the unit of the temperature sensor. You can see I click, and you will see uh, the value is changed to another unit. And now you will ask me how to rename this channel name and this name, the unit, and this is number, and this input number. So I will show you how to change this rename. Just click close and close this software. And here you can open this file. There will be have a setting folder. And this have created the controller IP address. That is for the first one, config file. You can open this file. So you can see the analog input, the mini and max range, and the unit. If you have connected with a what level sensor, uh, you can just input M. That means meter. And this maybe you can change any one. So this is temperature sensor that have the name. I have changed to T1 or air temperature or water temperature. And the input I can change to smoke sensor, maybe smoke sensor. And you can save this file. And now you can close this file and open this exe file again and click you can see the temperature channel 1 is become t1 and this analog sensor that is become the unit is m meter and the digital input you can see this is become smoke so you can rename every channel by yourself just change this settings by this file so that will be easy use your local language so you can change it. So this is how to monitor the sensor state by one serial B. Now if you have another place or you have a third place or fifth place, you need to add this controller. So you can see here I have added another serial B logic controller. So you can see this is two. Just let your internet cable connect with the network, C network. You can connect with it. And this also I have connected with a temperature sensor. So this will have installed two places, uh, but just need to use in local network, in the C network with your loader. So you can see this is two module, and I can connect with the 12 volt for this power. 
Now this is power on. Just do as the same step as before. So you can click this one, scan device. We can click, we can clear these items and click scan. So this time you can see this have be scanned to CLB logic controller. And the first one have added to this. And now we can set for the second one is this IP address. So we also open this IP address in web browser. And the login with the username and the password. And enable this TCP server work mode. And click save. OK, just for some seconds, we'll be reboot. And now we can use this software. And you just click this button. And this means board 2. And input this IP address, just the controller IP address. Because the IP address is different from the first one. But the port, you can uh, also set to this part, no problem. So we can click Add Board. And you can see this item have just two devices. We can click this one. And also, I have click Connect. So you can see uh, this is the second temperature sensor that have showed in this uh, window. You can see I have hold down this temperature sensor, and this temperature sensor become up. And also, I can use this cable and shut for the digital input 16 channel. You can see here that it become red. Also, you can use this analog input. And this time, you can see if I want to see this temperature or some sensor state, I just click this one. So this window is for this controller. And I click this item. That is changed to this controller. So if you have the three board, so you can just input the three, just like this. And I can input uh, IP address and add board. So you can see this is three, and this is two, and this is one. If you have four, and five, and six, you can just list, list, list. On this window, you can change uh, to which controller to see this, this window. So that you just use the win window software to see the different controller state. OK, you can see this is the window. And another function, you can see this folder. Uh, because every, every time when you create this one controller, you can see that is the config file INI for this controller. So you can change and rename every channel. Uh, this is the first one. And this is the second one. You can change. And this is the third one. So you can rename by this INI file. And back. Uh, this is setting. And this is logo date. You can click. And you can see. The logo file is output from this folder according to this IP address of the different controller. The first one, we can click and click this TXT file, logo file. And you will see when this controller is state is changed. You can see this controller, the input, digital input one, is become on at this date and this time. And this controller is become in digital input become off at this date and this time. So just change the state, the digital input. Every sensor state is changed. That will output to this logo file. So the logo file is for this controller. And the another logo file, you can see also at here, that the second controller I have triggered for the on and off just one time. So you can see this is the time. And the date, uh, you can see the time and the date were saved at this test file. So if you have some problem, you can search and for this logo file to check where is the problem. So this is the logo file of the controller. OK, this program is used in local network. We can, if you want, delete this one. You just uh, re click remove. So this will be delete. And now I will show you another function that you can 
Remote monitor your sensor state by the Tuya application. Open this web page. This is the first controller. We can make example for the first controller the way is seen as the second controller. So we can enable this Tuya. And the Tuya have account have the different cloud server location. This you need to check with the Tuya account. And you can buy this license from the King Kong company. So you can see I am in China, so I can create the CLB Tuya license. So I just save the time, so I can just import this one. Actually, you can buy this license from King Kong. So we will send this information to you. You just fill the blank. So you just click save, and it will be restart. After restart, you can log in. And this time, you can see this generates the QR code. Because we need to use this QR code added to our Tuya application. So you can see this is my mobile phone. Now you can see I can change, it disable the Wi-Fi. I just use the 5G. Uh, this is iPhone 14. Now I just show you the demo, how to remote control by the internet. Uh, you can use the 4G or 5G or 3G. Uh, use all no problem. So I can uh, open this Smart Life and add device. You can see that is scan the QR code. So I can use my mobile phone to scan this QR code. And you can see uh, that should uh, CLB have added successfully. So I can click down. And here you can see the state. Uh, we can close it. That will list the first CLB. If you have cre uh, created the second QR code, you just use this scan device, add the device. So that will be second CLB and uh, third CLB or fifth, fifth CLB, just list it here. Now I will show you, I just click. And you can see that is digital import state. And this is analog import state. And this is the temperature. Uh, you can see that is the temperature. So this have remote, see the temperature. This is 20 centigrade. So you can see, I can open this PC software. And this is first, you can see, uh, this have some delay time. This is 21, and this is 20.6. Uh, that's because I have the time need to update to Tuya Cloud Server. I use my cable and also shot the input, digital input one to ground. You can see here. Uh, that's the PC software is turn green, and the mobile phone also is turn green. You can see here that is turn green. So if I remove my hand, you can see that is recovered, and the PC software also is recovered. And let's look at the temperature sensor because the temperature sensor up uploaded to the cloud server have some delay time. You can see I hold on this one. This is auto enable function. That is every five seconds uh, will update the sensor state. You can see the sensor state, the temperature become up. And the PC software, temperature also become up. So this is remote monitor by the internet. You can see the 5G. And this PC software is used in local network. So if the internet is broken, we can also use the PC software to monitor the sensor state. OK, this is how to use the Tuya application to monitor the sensor state for this CLB logic controller. Thanks for watching.